Apple is leaving Intel Macs behind. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean your trusty old MacBook becomes e-waste? Um, I'm not quite sure. Let's find out. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I bring to you another video on how Linux can make your life better. If you're new to the channel, that is what we discuss here. Are you interested? Consider subscribing and turning on the bell icon so you get notified when a new video drops. Today, I'm revealing the five best Linux distros that look and feel like Mac OS, perfect for keeping your Intel Mac secure and usable for years to come. Let's check them out. Counting down at number five, Deepin Desktop on Ubuntu. This is what you get when you combine Ubuntu's reliability with a Mac OS makeover. This combo gives you Ubuntu's vast software library with Deepin's gorgeous Mac OS inspired interface. Check out these animations, a Mac OS like dock and a stunning control panel. Although it's a bit heavier than other options, it works best on MacBook with at least four gigabytes of RAM. At number four, Elementary OS. The Pantheon desktop environment gives you a Mac OS like dock, a clean app launcher, and even an app store alternative called the App Center. Installation is straightforward, but you might need RE Find to handle the Mac's bootloader. This distro targets users who love macOS's aesthetics but want a lightweight Linux alternative. Taking the third spot is Ubuntu Budgie, a sleek, customizable distro that can be tweaked to feel like macOS. You can enable a macOS-style dock, global menus, and even a Mac-like notification center using the Raven sidebar. Plus, it's lightweight, making it great for older MacBooks. At number two, Perl OS, the closest macOS clone. This distro was designed to mimic macOS from the dock to the launchpad style app launcher. It should have been number one on the list because it is the closest to macOS Linux ever got to. Sadly, the original Perl OS is discontinued, but forks like Perl Linux or Aurora OS keep the spirit alive. If you can find a working version, it's worth a try. Just be cautious, since it's no longer maintained, security updates are limited. Finally, at number one, Zorin OS. This distro has a built-in Mac OS theme. One click and boom, your Linux desktop looks and feels like a Mac. For beginners, Zorin OS is hands down the easiest transition from Mac OS. This is a distro that doesn't just look like Mac, it can also run some macOS apps due to Wine support. Hardware support is excellent too. My 2012 MacBook Pro runs this flawlessly. This is where we draw the curtain. As you can see, your trusty old Intel Mac doesn't have to be an e-waste. After all, just give it a Linux makeover. So which of these distros are you trying first? Let me know in the comments. If this saved your Mac, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Linux tips. See you next time.